Hey there, it's Tabitha Cara, and in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to add images and videos to a Google Slides document. And most specifically, if you have a smart class newsletter or website, I want to make sure you know how to do that. If you don't and you would like to try out a free digital newsletter for your classroom, you can go to bit.ly slash free digital newsletter and grab the one I have there. You would make a copy of it. Um, on page three, you would click on this icon, make that copy. This is what it looks like. And I have a tutorial with instructions on how you customize, set it up, all that good stuff. But for this video, I'm just going to share with you how you can spruce it up with some images, videos, all that good stuff. So first of all, I'll share with you on your phone. I definitely recommend, um, being able to insert images from your camera roll super quick and easy. You will need to download the Google Slides app. So just go to your browser and your phone, search Google Slides app, download it, and then you will just open up your document in Google Slides app. So I'll show you, for example, right here, I have my list and I could just search if I can't find the document I'm looking for and then open it up double tap again so I get an edit format and then I'll tap on the plus sign up here go to image and then I could grab a photo from my camera roll or I could take a picture in the moment and I I did this often for student of the week each week or if we had a class party or anything like that you can add it to your newsletter or smart class website and let parents see how things went now you cannot do as far as i know you cannot do video insertion from your phone so that will take a couple more steps on desktop which is what we'll do now so first let's talk about just adding images on your desktop all you have to do is go to insert image first um option right there and you could insert from your drive account if you already have them saved there um or you could just upload from your computer or um you don't even have to go to that step you could just find in your finder find an image that you want and just drag it in and there you go you have your image already in there. If you need it to stand out, you could go to format options and add a little drop shadow or a reflection, just some fun stuff you could do if you want the image to stand out on its own. Now, um, as far as video, it is an extra step. So for video, what you'll need to do is save the video first to your Drive account and then insert it. So um, to do that, what you'll need to do is just go over to your Drive account and let's go right here. And I would just go to my Finder window, wherever my video might be in um, my computer and just drag it in and make sure that it has uploaded completely. And once it's uploaded completely, then just like you did with the image, you would just go to insert video. And then you could do a YouTube URL link. If you just want, for example, you have a science lesson and there's a video on YouTube, you could do that as well here. Or you go to Google Drive and you will insert it from there. So I'll go to recent and see if my video pops up. That was not the video that I just did. I guess it hasn't uploaded yet, but we'll just do this one. And you have options. Um, you could actually have it start at a different time in your video. So if it's a lesson and really you just want your um, students to see a certain portion of it, then you could put in the time starting time and ending time you could also edit whether it's going to automatically play you know if this is like welcome students if it's like beginning of the year type video you might want it to play automatically um but you also have on click and then manual you can mute the audio if it's not something where you want the audio to play you just want them to see the video all that good stuff once again you can drop shadow um, make that video stand out and you can use the corner blue squares 
to edit the size so that you can get it to fit wherever it is that you want in your newsletter. So um, now when you have that in um, your preview mode, so I'll just do this really quick, preview question mark, RM equals minimal. So now I have this in presentation mode, and this is what it would look like, and then I'm ready to play that video, <laughs> whatever it might be. So I hope this was helpful for you for inserting images and videos into your smart class newsletter or website or any Google Slides doc. If you have questions, please let me know in the comments. Feel free to DM me at Facebook or Instagram at Flapjack Education. I'd love to connect with you there as well. And also in my Facebook group where I have tips for digital resource creation for your classroom and or TPT store. You can join me there. I have the link in the description of this video. Take care. I hope you're doing well and I hope to see you in the next video.